Governor John Bell Edwards spoke about an hour ago about preparations being made across the state ahead of Laura and Devin Bartolotta is at our backup studio in Baton Rouge tonight. She's bringing us more on what the governor had to say. Lots of strong words from him, Devin. Yeah, Katie, this press conference happened just a short time ago here in Baton Rouge, and the governor is really making a case telling people do not think that this is over just yet. Storm surge, wind and rain may be potentially felt, he says, from Baton Rouge to Houston. Edwards says there may be some more evacuations issued in the coming days as more preparations fall into place and as the state kind of fine tunes its plan based on the changing forecast. Now, CPRA is currently monitoring 689 gates of across the coast, 404 of them uh, are now closed. The governor says the fact that Marco fizzled out is giving Louisiana more time to kind of fine tune things for a potential major hurricane, something that he expects will affect the entire coast of Louisiana. If there is a good thing about Laura is she is anticipated to be moving quickly and she will exit the state out the back door about 12 hours or so after she comes through the front door. If that happens, then the rainfall totals wouldn't be as, as significant as if she moved slower and kind of sat stationary and had those rain bands just dumping on Louisiana. Uh, but five to 10 inches of rain is plenty of rain if the rivers are not emptying uh, as they normally do. Now, as we've uh, heard Chris and our other meteorologists say, the, the tomorrow is expected to still be a pretty quiet day. The governor says that if you have any last minute hurricane preparations for Laura, you should really finish those up tomorrow. We're not expected to hear from the governor again until about six o'clock tomorrow evening. That's the update from Baton Rouge. We'll send it back to you in New Orleans. All right.